Hello everyone. The topic for this video is identification test for emulsion. First test is the dilution test. The dilution test is based on the solubility of external phase, where as a result, addition of wrong liquid will cause breaking of emulsion or separation. As you can see in the diagram, if you add water in your emulsion and as a result there is no phase change which means the water distributes uniformly then the emulsion is identified to be oil in water emulsion but if you dilute the oil in water emulsion with oil the oil layer will separate out causing breaking of the emulsion thus you can confirm that the emulsion is oil in water emulsion second identification test for emulsion is the conductivity test it is based on the fact that water is a good conductor of electricity in this test electrodes are placed in the test emulsion and electricity is supplied the bulb will glow due to the conductivity of water which means the test emulsion is oil in water emulsion but if the bulb doesn't glow which means the test emulsion is water in oil emulsion because oil does not conduct the electricity Third test is the dye solubility test. In this test, red colored dyes are used to detect the presence of emulsion. Amaranth dye is a water soluble dye and Sudan 3 and scarlet dye are oil soluble dyes. If you add amaranth dye in your emulsion and your emulsion shows red color which means the emulsion is oil in water emulsion as the amaranth dye is soluble in water. But if you see red color spots in the emulsion, then it will mean the test emulsion is water in oil emulsion because the water is the dispersed phase. Similarly, Sudan 3 and scarlet dye will color the oil phase. Fourth test is cobalt chloride test. In this test, a filter paper is soaked in cobalt chloride solution and is dried. Then the test emulsion is applied to the paper. If the cobalt chloride paper which is blue in color remains same then it means the emulsion is water in oil emulsion. But the paper turns into pink color in the presence of water which means it is oil in water emulsion. Fourth identification test is the fluorescence test. In this test UV rays are passed through the emulsion and the emulsion is observed under the microscope. Some oils have the property to show fluorescence in the presence of UV light. Thus, continuous fluorescence is observed in water in oil emulsion under the UV light presence. And oil in water emulsion shows spotty fluorescence. Sixth test is the direction of creaming. This test is used if the densities of oil and water phase are known. And it is based on the fact that oil is less denser than water. Here, if the emulsion is water in oil, then upward creaming will be observed as shown in the picture and if the emulsion is oil in water emulsion, then the creaming will be downward as shown in the picture. Last test is the blotting paper test. In this test, a blotting paper is taken and is dipped in the test emulsion. If the blotting paper is found wet, then the emulsion is oil in water type. Blotting paper becomes wet because water is present in the continuous phase. And if the test emulsion doesn't wet the blotting paper, then it is water in oil emulsion. Hope you like the video. Keep watching.